Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I want to talk about a content creator named Jack Doherty, and I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Uh, if so, I'm definitely not sorry. <laughs> but I, I do want to talk about this channel because he's probably been in your feed, rather be TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. This kid's all over the place. Uh, when you hop on his channel, you, you can find out he's got 13.1 million subscribers. Uh, looks like family-friendly content, right? Uh, you check his most popular videos. He has stuff like flipping bottles, uh, getting kisses from women's, uh, flipping that stuff, going to Walmart, stuff like that. Just doing like childhood pranks. Uh, but just like most child content creators, they eventually get older. Uh, and they have to up the ante to actually stay relevant. And this happens to be the case with this kid. If you take a look at these latest videos, there's a lot of actual drama stuff where he's sneaking the Kanye concerts, getting punched in the face. Uh, all, and I'm going to show you that. I actually want to show you that now. Uh, I got a couple uh, clips I want to show you uh, from a couple uh, other YouTube channels. Uh, so if you get a chance, go to these channels and give them some support. But I kind of want to show you the clips that I found that's actually floating around so you guys can kind of see it. So we'll go ahead and start out with this one. Um, it's actually pretty crazy. It's by It's Your Boy Donnie. Uh, check him out. Let's go ahead and play the clip. Watch your language. There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your kids bro? can't read, what though. What are you talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Hey, 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 this is basically what the kid's M.O. is. Basically what happens is he harasses people, usually families or smaller people, and whenever they actually try to take up for themselves, uh, he has his security guard jump in and intimidate the other people. Uh, sometimes the uh, security guard is pretty uh, well able to hold off this kid getting his ass kicked, and sometimes he's not. In this case, what I think is really crazy about it is... This, this family was just hanging out on the pier, probably enjoying their day. When this little douchebag comes in, his security guard has a shirt that has all kinds of F words and stuff like that. And these kids this guy was with was probably maybe three or four years old. Um, you know, I, I don't like kids that have to see stuff like that uh, or families. I, I don't think they need to see that. Like, it's out there, and, you know, as a parent, you're probably trying to protect your kids from seeing things like this. So they don't actually go to school and say, hey, Miss Teacher, fuck you. You don't want that. You don't want that to happen. Uh, so, you know, I, I see where the guy is pretty mad about this, and he was trying to protect his children. And, you know, ultimately what happens, he ran into another guy, and he fucked around and found out a little bit, and the security guard wasn't able to do much except for stand in and try to try to stop the actual fight from happening so uh that one was pretty pretty classic so it continues uh this was actually from penguin zero charlie uh awesome awesome creator he's like way way bigger than i'll ever be 14.3 million subscribers uh he actually has a video where he talks about this way better than i can uh, so be sure to check him out. But this is one of the clips that's been running around lately as well. And I got one more after that I want to show you. So let me go ahead and show you this one here. Again, that's that's family friendly content. It's what you expect from a creator like this, right? Um, again, basically, what happens? He harasses people, usually smaller people that he knows probably can't really stand a chance against these really tall, probably built security guard, um, and he hides behind them. Then he still harasses the people behind the shield. Um, there's a word for that. I'm pretty sure it's called being a pussy, uh, a giant one, and a giant piece of shit um, and i hate to say that this guy's a kid he's way younger than me yes i'm a 36 year old man talking about 15 year old boys uh doing stupid shit 
But this is actually pretty sad stuff. Like these content creators, like these kids are like, they're growing up and they're watching these content creators going from like humble beginnings to this. And actually it's going to cause problems with kids at home. These are heroes, right? These are kids heroes today. Uh, become absolutely big assholes and you know we have a problem now like kids like teenagers especially uh, there's no respect or anything like that anything to chase clouts um, they'll do anything for any type of attention especially you know if you're trying to do some views and be a content creator which being a content creator on youtube right now is one of the biggest things kids want to be these days uh, you know you kids will like to be a astronaut doctors fireman back in the day now it's being a youtube content creator and they see this and it's actually going to cause more kids to go out and do the same thing now there's one more i want to show you which was actually a whole lot worse than uh probably all of them together i mean each one of them was pretty bad but this one's pretty pretty awful um now if you take a look at this guy this is actually this uh from a channel called who Dis. uh he uploaded it be sure to give him some love uh, he actually uploaded the clip here, and you can see uh, this is the security guy. Uh, and these people, these people are just young teenage kids, small, super scrawny, uh, probably couldn't handle themselves in a fight. And this what this is what transpired in this. This is pretty brutal, actually. Stop, just stop, just stop. I'm just saying, y'all say Yo, you just stop. Tell him stop. Tell stop. Tell him stop. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no, yo, stop, stop. Again, family friendly uh, content, right? Um, that that dude's huge. That dude's a beast. Imagine getting hit in the face by that guy. It's like it's going to be like going sixty miles per hour and hitting an elephant or something like that. You're going to die. He, he didn't die, but he got hurt, right? Um, that kid was like super, super small. Super scrawny. Got punched right in the face by that guy. That guy's a beast. Um, I don't understand. And there's a lot of content creators like this. Um, they hide behind bigger people and they get money to do this. They, they, they're they allowed to harass people. And, you know, the more clicks they get, the more revenue they get. And YouTube doesn't do anything about it. None of these uh, platforms like Kick, Twitch, they don't do anything about it. IRL has been a thing for a long time, especially on Twitch. Um, there's a lot of people that's done it. I, I couldn't even tell you any of them because I forgot about that uh, whole uh, community, basically. But there was some bigger ones back in the day on Twitch that started the IRL stuff. And basically all it was was pranks and just being a nuisance. Um, there was a kid that was in Japan recently, and I forget his name too. He's not important, but he's in jail right now. He's probably facing three years in prison in Japan for being a public nuisance. Um, yeah, he's doing pranks and just causing problems, being racist, stuff like that. They're just saying awful things to people. And when people try to react in the way you would think, uh, usually, you know, most people just be like, they just brush it off. It's like just an annoying kid just being annoying, doing annoying things. But some people, you know, when you run in the street, you're going to find somebody that doesn't really give a damn and they're going to do some violence, a lot of violence, lots of violence. I'm sorry, this is so cringy. This is so cringy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the cringiest uh, video I've made in a while. Um, just watching this stuff. Like, I, I fear for my nephew, who's six years old, watching this stuff. These kids are heroes to younger audiences that don't understand. Um, and it's awful. It's really terrible. Like, I know, you know, as a content creator, you're meant to evolve. Your brand of content has to change. It has to. Uh, you can't stick on it forever. Some people you can, some you can't. Uh, if you want to be relevant, you have to up the ante in pretty much every single thing you do as a content creator. Uh, which leads me to our current community that we talk about, and that's our frauditors. Uh, frauditors is basically the ultimate end game of IRL streaming and content creation. Uh, basically the same stuff. Instead of, you know, 6 to 20-year-old kids doing content, you have 30 to 56-year-old men uh, that don't have jobs, they're racist, 
Uh, they're clout chasers. They harass people that has jobs, public officials, uh, going through a midlife crisis and just trying to get as much money as they can before they can't do it anymore. Because ultimately what's going to happen is this kind of content is going to go away. It's going to go away because there's going to be a hard stance on it. Might not be now, might not be in three months, but it could happen. Um, you know, there's some frauditors and content creators that are in prison now, uh, facing felony charges for doing stupid shit like this. They think they're untouchable, and this shit happens. Um, and I think this is this is the bad thing about YouTube. Um, they allow this content. Uh, it's not just a YouTube thing. This is all the platforms. Uh, they allow this kind of content to exist on the platform. I, think, I hope there is a, some type of repercussions for these type of actions or behavior. Because um, these kids right now, they think they can get away with anything, just, just like the frauditors. Um, you know, it's just sad to see this because, you know, YouTube has become, I mean, all the platforms. Like, take a look at Twitch now. It's become a soft porn site, um, you know, with all kinds of degenerates. And then you have Kick, YouTube. I heard Kick is pretty bad. We've streamed on Kick. Um, a couple times, and you know, our first stream, we had some people just call me a fat guy and a loser and a piece of shit that lives in his mom's basement. You know, I I I don't have the power or clout or the numbers to fight people like this. The only thing I could do is make a video about it, let people know about it. If it takes off, it takes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, you know, maybe more people do need their eyes on this. Um, you know, I, I post clips all the time on Reddit, like one in particular, I post the, uh, the elite laws, uh, telling, you know, wanting kids to have bone cancer and, uh, die in a fire or whatever. Um, I post that video all the time. I show people because, um, you know, some people look at Chile and they're like, oh, he's our hero, but he's a piece of shit in real life. He's a big piece of shit. Just like these kids, um, they just never been told no. They've never been punished. Uh, so they don't know what, you know, justice is, basically. Uh, they're not responsible for their own actions. And they just keep getting away. And the next thing that happens, the content gets crazier and crazier and crazier. And one day, you know, the worst thing possible could happen. What if this kid runs up to some kid, like some kid or some old dude, some lady, a uh, gangster, something like that, and they have a gun or a knife, and they just pull the trigger or stab the kid in the head. Like, that can happen. That can happen. I don't want that to happen. I don't want anybody to get injured. Like, I don't want frauditors to get injured. Um, I do take um, I do, I do take a lot of pleasure in watching them getting cuffed and um, finding out, but, you know, I don't want them to get hurt ultimately. But, you know, again... That's the reason why there is that saying, fuck around and find out. That's why that exists, because people like this. Um, and it's sad. It's really sad to see this, because me as a content creator, right? Like I said, I can't really compete against this stuff, because, you know, I'm not that stupid. I'm not that dumb. I, I, I you know, I want to have some type of uh, legacy of some sort. I want to be able to... Uh, improve my career choices. Like these kids, whenever they become broke, people are going to like employers and stuff like that. They're going to look at this content and be like, this guy's a piece of shit. I'm not going to hire him. And that's sad. That's really sad. They're digging their own hole and they're never going to be able to get out of it. Um, and that's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that this has been a piece of shit video. I, I have been trying to figure this video out how i was going to attach it ta uh, <laughs> attack it oh my god well i was going to do the fucking video and this is the outcome the ultimate outcome this is probably the cringiest video about this actual subject <laughs> and i'm sorry i i do apologize um i i don't apologize because my my thing is cringe i am a cringy creator so that is what it is if you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.